radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description. Hey babes and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. It is a different vibe over here because today we're tapping into the sign of Leo. Before I get started, make sure you check me out on Etsy in the description below for your protection. That's the only place, the only way you can get a private reading from me. Also check out my completely free radio show. It's live and playbacks in the description below. It's super fun. We pull cards for every zodiac sign. We listen to music. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel and let's get into it, Leo. See what's going on with you guys. Okay. Okay, this one wanted to come out. All right, so first we have the eagle. This one says leadership, spirituality, and clarity. You're being guided to let go of an attachment and connect to divine inspiration. Flying high above the restraints of yourself and society, look for moments of truth and act upon them. From your elevated vantage point, balance, harmony, and joy can easily be found. So tapping into this energy, Leo, there's a need to take that leadership position. There's a need to take a leadership position. So we'll see how this unfolds and see why. We got the ram. Yeah, this is very action-oriented energy. Courage, strength, pioneer. You're being guided to follow your heart and find the joy and intrigue and enthusiasm for life. Look beyond the tired and true. You are on your own unique journey. There is no mountain too high or rugged for you. Forge ahead with stamina, determination, and self-love. Self-love really sticks out for me. There's this commitment for self needed at this time. There's a need for you to say, okay, you know what? Everybody's going this way. I'm going to go this way because it is in my best interest and committing to that path as well because people are going to try to convince you hey over here is better where you're supporting me we got the hawk uh, inspirational, fearless, visionary. You're being guided to detach from the mundane and envision your heart's desires. See with clarity the opportunity that surrounds your new journey. Stretch and expand yourself. Soar above previous limitations. Wow. Tapping into this energy, Leo, I feel like you're being called to take the path that not a lot of people choose to take. And there's something that not a lot of people have faith in, but you have enough knowledge on it to make it work. I'm picking up I'm hearing trading for someone, so maybe it's trading stocks or something to do with crypto. Um, you guys have a level of knowledge because you genuinely are interested in the topic, and that's the thing. A lot of people aren't genuinely interested, so they don't know. They don't know how you know they can make money or they don't have the patience. Like Whatever this is, there's a dream someone wants to follow. Whatever it is for you personally, it's definitely in your best interest to tap into that. The universe is suggesting, Leo, tap into this, do this, get into it. It's going to show up for you. It's going to turn out nicely for you. It's in your best interest. We have the tortoise. Patience, persistence, and resourceful. You're being guided to be mindful. Enjoy every moment and have patience with yourself and others. Taking small steps forward will deliver you to huge accomplishments. So yeah, you guys, tapping into this energy, I, I definitely get an energy, I will say, of this being a journey, a process, but the universe is telling you to start now. There's something you've been questioning if you should get into, whether it's starting your own business, whether it's getting into trading, whether it's stocks, cryptocurrency, I don't know, whatever. There's so many ways to you know, make money. Um, but whatever it is that you've been thinking about, the universe is really telling you to lean into that, Leo. Let's see what else we got. Okay, those didn't mean to come out. Oh, this is, um... Yeah, open your heart to the endless possibilities. The universe will have your back. We have the star card and the knight of cups here. So this lets me know that the universe is definitely in support of you, Leo. The, the universe will make it happen for you. But you have to move forward full steam ahead and allow the universe to bless you. And there's just like these contradict contradicting thoughts or um you know opinions that other people have they feel like you can't make it they feel like it's not going to work it they feel like it's silly that you even want to invest in whatever it is that you're considering investing in but i'm telling you leo it is in your best interest they don't get it 
it's not their journey it was never their journey it's not supposed to be their journey this is your opportunity yours you have an opportunity to pursue a dream or to pursue a different way of living that's a bit unique but it's going to provide you everything you've been looking for wow the tower yeah and i feel like you guys are trying to avoid this you're like universe isn't there a better way for you know things to happen the universe is like yeah of course there is but it may be three three years down the line maybe two years down the line maybe it's six months down the line but it's not going to be as good this is the perfect opportunity and it's a little messy and that's the thing about manifestations they come through the easiest way possible so if the universe sees the perfect circumstance for you it's going to deliver it to you but sometimes things are a bit messy and that's the easiest way for them to come through otherwise yeah there is going to be another opportunity you're going to get it may be super easy and you know it may be just like the opportunity of a lifetime but you have to wait three years for it so you can do it now and be where you want to be within the next three, six months, a year. A year is not a long time to wait, please. Especially if you're building wealth. Please, don't be ridiculous, you know? If this is something huge you're asking for, um, listen, the universe is saying you have an opportunity now. It's a little messy. It's, it's a little scary. But you have the opportunity to be where you want to be like I said, in the next three, six months, a year versus three years from now, waiting for just that perfect opportunity to start to build. And then you still have to wait another year on top of that, or who knows what the circumstance will be, you know? So you have the opportunity. There's always going to be a way that you can reason it. We live in a very dualistic world. For every light, there is a dark. For every dark, there is a light. So for every, you know, yeah. For every possibility, there is a failure. For every win, there is a loss. Um, and that's just universal law, you know, the law of cause and effect. But um, yeah, you guys, like that isn't, that shouldn't be a deterrent for you. The universe is really trying to push you to get out of your comfort zone and ride this horse, pursue this dream, start where you are, start now with what you have, even if you don't have, like even if you have next to nothing. Researching like you guys, um, you know, have been doing, yeah, we have the Hierophant card, using your wisdom, maybe networking with other people, get, shoot, you may even wanna get a loan small loan but if you really know what you're doing and you know that you'll have the ability to pay it back like if this is a thing where it's like i know i can get what i want as long as i just get a few more coins you guys obviously i'm not a financial investor so i can't actually tell you over the internet what to do with your money okay but listen if you're whatever you're feeling intuitively you know, I'm definitely saying do that. Now, if you know that you haven't worked to control your toxic traits, like maybe you have like a, a spending habit. I like to go up under the casino with my friends every once in a while. Like I didn't even gonna hold you. I had this like whole stint where for six months I was obsessed with it. So we would go every weekend and then I was like, okay, I really gotta chill up on my wallet. <laughs> but um, like if you know that you haven't conquered that beast of like being impulsive and being smart with your coins, maybe don't do something like that. But you guys, if you feel like you can genuinely do the research and handle this correctly i would recommend doing what you feel intuitively pulled to do we have the hierophant and the high priestess which is about wisdom and intuition so not just looking at what other people have done in the past but also saying okay this is my path this is not their path so where they ended up is not where i'm going to end up period just because i am not them they are not me we're not on the same path it doesn't matter you know, so you have to tie that wisdom into your intuition. You have to intuitively feel like, OK, is this a good gamble? No pun intended. Is this a good gamble? Is this a good opportunity for me? Or do I need to be more patient with the process, et cetera, et cetera? We have the lover's card here, so there's definitely an opportunity for harmony. This is two people coming together and joining forces. So you may have a mentor that you're going to meet, or there may be a, a romantic interest that you meet along the way. And it's like, maybe you've been trying to manifest love, Leo, but you have an opportunity in career, and that's leading you to the love thing. And you've known that for a while, but you've been avoiding those messages from the universe because you don't, you know, you haven't been wanting to do that. King of Swords in reverse and the Six of Cups in reverse. No action equals no blessing is exactly what I'm getting here. The universe does not have the ability to bless you, Leo, unless you give the universe something to match, unless you put in that initial investment. Because sitting here where you are is not going to bring you anything. And I'm, I'm getting a very specific message for that. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. 
if you continue on exactly the path that you're on, it's not going to bring you what it is that you're looking for. And this isn't a message for those of you who are already on this path. This is a message for those of you who have already been considering giving up. Seven of Pentacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Those of you who are, you know, just chilling on what you were doing before. Okay. Hold on, I'm going to shuffle again. Get some love messages for Leo. What are the love messages for Leo? Yeah, look at this. I want to be free with you. Let's experience everything we can together. I honestly truly feel like for most of you Leos, um, getting on your financial path of financial freedom, financial success, or even life purpose a little bit, because I'm feeling like that can bring you some money. And we, we do have the wands here, but I feel like pursuing a path of your life purpose or of career is what's going to lead you to your next romantic relationship. You're going to meet that person in that journey and they want to be free with you, experience everything together. They want to travel with you, do the entrepreneurial thing with you. You know, they want to experience life with you. I'm shy. I know it may not seem that way, but I definitely am. I'm getting your energy on that, surprisingly. Um, if I can find a way, I'm going to contact you soon. So it's hard for you guys to go into this new phase of your life that has so much possibility and wish fulfillment because there's someone in the past that you're crushing on, and it's hard for you to let that go. Because like I said, surprisingly, well, people honestly get Leo's confused because you guys are half and half. You're half, um, you know, like really warm-hearted, really... Um, kind and endearing and nurturing and half structured and it, it's just like a, a kind of a balance like you know not too much love but not too much harsh energy you like a good time but you also you know can be a shy girl shy boy ambivert and <laughs> big ambivert energy from leo we have, I want to build something long-term to you, and I want to talk to you. I really want to get to know you better. You know, I'm getting messages from the universe. This is so interesting. I haven't gotten this type of vibe from any other sign that I've done today. Um, I, I feel like the universe is kind of speaking to you in this romantic way. The universe is like, romanticize me. Romanticize all the possibility within me. You've done all of this manifestation work, all of this journaling. I know what it is that you want, Leo. Please do not write me another letter. <laughs> Please. Okay, I know what you're looking for. <laughs> it reminds me of, hey God, it's me again. <laughs> like how people comment that on certain things. But it's just like the, the universe is like, I've heard you. I hear your thoughts. Like we're we're connected to you. Like we're, we're here. I can hear you. But, um, you know, you're trying to go about it a certain kind of way. So for an example, if you want like the perfect relationship, you know, sure, you'll get, you know, the universe will align you with what you want at some point. There's truly no way to force that unless you be in a flow with the universe and work with the universe and co-create. Um, you can get it sooner by co-creating and listening to what the universe is telling you how to get it sooner. Otherwise, um, you will have to wait. You know, you'll meet your person a few years from now, three years from now, just as an example. Um, whereas you could meet them, you know, right around the corner. So yeah, it'll still happen in that perfect way that you're wanting it to, but the timeline can just be screwed up. We have the perception card and the joy card. So a lot of you guys are looking at your situation like, you know, if I don't focus on love or if I don't focus on whatever it is for you personally, if I don't focus on that, I'll never get it. Joy is always the answer. Following a dream will always be the answer. Doing what it is that truly excites you, that makes you feel good, that's always going to be the right answer for you, Leo. But you're perceiving the situation as not getting what you want or giving up on something when really you're committing to the path of getting it. If you truly want something, then this is what, you know, you'll do. Ooh, eerie. We have the mutable, mutable moon and the new moon in Capricorn. There's those. New moon in Capricorn, your hard work is paying off. Mutable moon, nothing is yet set in stone. So the universe is saying, listen, you can have what it is that you want, but you have to work with me. And that's what co-creating is all about. The universe is not, you know, you cannot pimp out the universe. You cannot. 
that's not the way it works i know these manifestation gurus have convinced us that oh my god you can have whatever you want you can but you do have to work within the universe and it cannot intrude on someone else's you know we're not even gonna get into it but tapping into this energy nothing is yet set in stone leo you can have what it is that you want but there's a certain way that you need to go about it if you feel that intuitive pull towards someone or something honor that you feel that intuitive pull because it is pull because it is a real however in order to get in alignment with that there's certain things that have to be done full moon in gemini and the full moon in libra a win-win outcome is forecast and the answers that you need are coming so you're gonna re you're gonna win regardless but i feel like the win will be in different ways and it'll be a matter of perception whether you see what happens next as a win let me pull some of these for you guys We have everyone is just doing their best. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling a heavy influence of another person being involved here. It's hard to let them go, hard to let them be on their own journey or some sort of difficulty involving another person. Love is the reason. Hmm. Just one wanted to come up. And your treasure is at hand. So yeah, Leo, you guys have the ability to walk into a fantastic opportunity. There is a huge opportunity waiting for you guys. Love is the reason that it has to go this way. In order to show someone love, you have to allow them to free them to, the freedom to grow and develop, to become in alignment. You have to love yourself, get yourself in alignment. And then we have everyone is just doing their best. So if you're frustrated with something or someone, just understand that they're human as well, but you have an opportunity to commit to yourself. Do not finesse yourself out of a good situation. Do not play yourself. Do not shortchange yourself. Um, I was writing a manifestation the other day. What? How did I word that? Oh, I said I will never cross myself. I was getting some candle work together and it was I was doing one for self-love and that's something that I've done a lot. I've crossed myself, I have put myself on the back burner, I have, you know, given myself way less than I should have. I've credit, love, attention, energy. I have crossed myself to benefit other people and we're not doing that anymore, Leo. It's time to live for you. So I don't know why that channel message came up at the end, but I guess it's something that someone needed to hear, especially if you stuck around this long. So that was your message, Leo. Check me out on Etsy in the description below. If you'd like your own private tarot reading, you can ask whatever you want for your reading. Um, the instructions are on Etsy and that's the only place you can get a private reading from me. Like this video, please subscribe. Subscribe. <coughs> To my channel this exit is so trash this outro is so trash and check out my completely free radio show every other monday we pull cards we listen to music playbacks are also down there it is live we pull cards for every zodiac sign i love you leo be careful what you wish for and i will see you in the next one tune into my radio show where i pull cards and play all the bangers on station head in the description